Hi, I'm Tom with a list of interesting things. Um, it's not a good day. But here we are. And I'm going to keep it together this time because this is my third take. We are going to discuss uh, a little bit of the most current events that I could verify uh, in the war in Ukraine. Uh, and then we're going to talk about something very unpleasant. Uh, as you all know, the... War in in Ukraine, the Russian invasion of Ukraine, is progressing at incredible speeds. Uh, there are literally thousands of refugees moving from from the Ukraine into Poland. I have not been able to verify whether Romania is allowing people in, uh, although I have been able to verify that it doesn't look like Moldova is, especially as, again, I haven't been able to verify, it appears that that Russian troops have moved through Moldova. I'm not confident in that, however. This is a, an interactive map from the Metro, uh, uh, metro.co.uk. Uh, not the most reputable source in the world, but... We live in strange times. Uh, the Moldovan border, as you can see, is is completely taken. There are troops in and around Odessa. The far eastern side is almost completely taken. I don't even believe that this is entirely accurate anymore. I believe that Russian troops have extended near the edges. Uh, and north of the Crimean Peninsula is nearly completely under Russian control. The city of Kharkiv is nearly surrounded, but as I understand, has not yet completely fallen yet. Uh, in the north here, it was the case that uh, that Russian troops were in nearly complete control up here. However, uh, get out of here, you advertisement. Come on. Come on. All right, well, I'll use my words then. Uh, the uh, the oh, Hodansk? Hodensk? Hoda... Ho Hostomel, Hostomel Airport seems to have been retaken by Ukrainian forces. I cannot speak to the veracity of this. These things change very quickly, but as I understand, Kharkiv has not fully fallen. Kiev is surrounded, but has not fallen, and that airport has come back into the control of the Ukrainians. All right, that's our update. Moving on to something a bit darker. There is a real chance... There's a real chance that this conflict accelerates into a global war. And in times like that, it is important for individuals to know who is allied with whom and who has possession of what weapons. We're going to go over it quickly, and that's going to be our video for today. From highest to lowest... Uh, this information is pulled uh, from the... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, this is not correct. This information is pulled from the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, uh, who keeps tabs on nuclear armament, uh, and the countries that control them year to year. This was the most updated, reputable source I could find. This is effective January of 2021. This may have changed slightly in that time, but it is unlikely to have changed to a significant degree. We have, from top down, Russia with 6,375 nuclear weapons. The U.S. with 5,800. China with 320. France with 290, the UK with 225, Pakistan with 160, India very similar with 150, Israel with 90, and North Korea estimated at less than 40. I should say Israel and North Korea are both estimated values. Uh, Israel, as I understand the global community, is fairly confident, has something to the effect of 100 nuclear weapons. And North Korea, based on the amount of, of materials that they have, they are likely to have something between 10 and 30, but could have as many as 40. 
I don't think that I need to tell anybody watching that this is that this is not good. Uh, Pakistan has come out strongly on the side of Russia in this conflict, uh, and China has come out loosely in the side of this conflict. The United States is clearly positioned on the other side, uh, as are France and the United Kingdom. To my knowledge, India, Israel, and North Korea have not released statements, although that is subject to change. It may have changed by the time I finish this video. Any, let's say, any hundred of these nuclear weapons is enough to cause nuclear winter. But this sort of thing, I feel, is important for people to know. If people aren't paying attention, well, that's how wars get started. All right, everybody, that's it for today. I will keep updating people as much as I can. Stay interesting.